Okay, welcome everybody to the Q&A session of Marco Hietala. We're here in Melkweg, Amsterdam, Netherlands, and we got some great questions from the fans. Let's have a first question right away. Marco, why did you choose to make the album in English as well? I did the album in two languages because some of the English songs are originals. It was always meant to be in two languages. Now you can take your pick which one is better. So, we have one question from Noah. How is the feeling to play at such little stages again after years of filling whole arenas with Nightwish on tour? I've always liked clubs, but this tour, after, after quite a few years, has defined it that I absolutely love playing clubs. I mean, it's such a close-up and it's intimate and all the vibe is there, like really present, just as present as the people right in front of your face. I really love it. But shows are good to do anywhere for anybody, in what size. By the way, the first question was from Johanna and this next one uh, is from Sylvan. And goes, are you going to be making a second album? And if so, will it be both in Finnish and English again? I think most deaf we are doing one. We, we want to do one. Mm -hmm. Probably can't help it. Yeah. I'm sorry about it already. Okay, here's one from Lena. Do you come from a musical family? And other question would be, what has inspired you to become a musician yourself? Yeah, from the musical family, yes. And that probably also was a big inspiration, or at least is fed it really a lot. Dad used to have a shitload of albums from like classical to old jazz to more modern, some rock albums, some even prog rock, also some folkish stuff, some Simon and Garfunkel stuff that I still think that harmonies were affecting me pretty much. And he happened to also play acoustic guitar and sing. If you want to make some connections out of that, be my guest. Thank you, Mark. And the next one comes from Cassia. Goes like this. Are all links to other bands slash classical pieces done by chance or consciously? Or maybe it is only me to hear Pink Floyd's High Hopes, Patchel Bell's Canon, Rodrigo's Concerto de Aranjuez vibes and some other things that I cannot name yet. Of course, it does not make your music any less perfect, just adding another layer for further appreciation. Well, you usually start with what is a hunch, something that comes <laughs> to your mind. Yeah, or you happen to be fiddling around with your 12 string and you come across something. That's how they start. But then, of course, it takes a, quite a lot of contemplation to actually finish this kind of a pile of musical information and still try to keep it coherent somehow. This responsibility of keeping it coherent was probably as much of these two guys here as mine. If we move on from the very artistic stuff uh, <laughs> to very mundane, Mike wants to know, Marco, what gear did you use for your bass sound this tour? I think people are going to be disappointed about this, but I just have a preamp with a pretty nice distortion and it goes straight to PA and then also straight lines on. Well, the next one is people basically want us to come to play wherever they uh, reside and that's a really great thing for us because we want to go and play. Yeah. So it's a it's a pretty long list here of countries and what should we tell them? Yeah, we have plans. Of course there is this bit of a different scale of a tour I have to do here pretty soon. But after that it's gonna be 2021 and there's gonna be some time to a little bit like you to not take off and maybe start doing something different again. So if you happen to know promoters or if you happen to type promoters into Google <laughs> and start pestering them with emails and all that and come on bugger bring Mark and his boys over come on <laughs> come on dude then maybe something will happen. Yeah, that's actually cool. If you want to help the cause, write somebody, write your local club, wherever you want us to play, and tell them that cool bunch of 
<laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Hard frog toting morons. That <laughs> you don't want to have a show uh, to watch, so we'll come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's only a matter of arranging. Assistance. Yes. If you book mm. them, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, in the words of a legend. Vera wants to know, do you feel you sing with more emotion in Finnish or English? Or is there no difference? To be honest, it varies, like everything. Some things are just so comfortable in English, and then some things grab you differently in Finnish. But it can also happen with the different versions of the same song. Because sometimes some things you write, you kind of tend to even forget that they exist. You, you already have them in your backbone. And then when you dig them out and you start to go deeper, then you get moved by your own stuff. Isn't that goddamn smug? Moved to tears by his own voice. Mm. Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a uh, tough one. Which perfume do you use? Yeah, it's a very rare and expensive one. Tap water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sasu would like to know, why do you play bare feet? Don't you get splinters from the stage? Yeah, so far hasn't happened. But the bare feet thing kind of started when I started going bare feet at home and outside at summer and all. And it had a nice effect to the posture and sense of balance and everything. And well, you see the result. I'm going even more naturalistic. Well, I have to walk outside soon. God damn it, he got me. Well, that's it for you guys. And like, let's wave them off. Thanks for this great tour. See you someday, somewhere over the rainbow. My name is Thomas. My name is Philip. We love all of you.